100 years ago, Charlie Chaplin released his first movie. World War I began, and the railroad town of Clovis, California held its first rodeo. Community spirit brought that first event into existence in spring of 1914. Cattlemen were bringing their herds down from the hills to the railhead. Local women organized a downtown parade, and afterward, the wagon circled and the town's 1,000 population gathered for a picnic, horse races, and roping contests. By 1937, local ranchers chipped in and purchased 40 acres near the original picnic site. They donated some of the land to the local school system, and with the rest, they built a rodeo arena and a grandstand. For the recent centennial celebration, the rodeo expanded the grounds, adding VIP sponsor suites and a 14-foot bronze sculptor of two rodeo legends, Lane Frost and the great Growny Bull Red Rock. This rodeo was built on community. A 700-member association of volunteers produces the rodeo, featuring 370 contestants with a purse of $235,000. 120,000 of that is generated by the committee. The rodeo shares its facility with local organizations from high school rodeos to service clubs, even weddings and funerals. And the rodeo volunteers earn their stripes by working for those events too. After 100 years, one century, Clovis has not only maintained its traditions, it has expanded them in every way. A big reason why this rodeo is now being enshrined in the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame.